Hi, my name is Mirella and I'm a craft beer and sensory specialist based here in Toronto. Welcome to my list of four things I think we should let go of as an industry. Today we're diving into number two, the ales and lagers separation. This actually bothers me on two levels. The first one is the fact that we still feel we have to divide beer into these two categories. I'm guessing the instinct to divide beer neatly into two comes to us from wine, which is traditionally separated into red and white. But here's the thing. Dividing beer into ales and lagers is not an effective way to communicate flavor categories to beer drinkers. In fact, there are a number of beers whose overall flavor profile more closely resembles a beer in the opposite category than any of the other beers in their own category. For example, an India Pale Lager is much more similar to a Session IPA than it is to a Dunkelbach, a Merzen, or even a Helles. The underlying issue here is that beer is much more varied than wine by nature of the fact that it is brewed with more ingredients. It absolutely cannot be divided into two categories. In my search for better groupings, I dabbled in dividing beer by origin, which works to a certain extent. But I then settled on four categories, which are the ones I used in my book, Beerology. They actually work quite well, and I'd like to put them forward as a possible solution. As an industry, I think we need to settle on a better taxonomy for beer. The other thing that bothers me about the ales and lagers separation is our emphasis on it when introducing beer to beginners. Here's the thing. As a brewer, it's important to make this distinction early on. But as a beer drinker, not so much. Understanding the difference between ales and lagers is not a critical tool in starting to understand your palate and which beers to select. Like the brewing process, the ale versus lager talk is better suited to a beer drinker with a little more experience who's looking to expand their knowledge and their understanding of flavors. Presenting it as a beer basic that everyone should know, as if it's as straightforward a concept as red and white wine, is just silly. So, for these two reasons, I think it's time to say goodbye to the ales and lagers separation. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me for video number three.